Greetings uh, yet again, my fellow countrymen. Um, during my last installment, I did mention that uh, the protest and uh, all these things that are going on in our country, the show of discontent, is not going to end. There is no miracle that ZANU-PF can do to change this. This is it. They can bash people, they can be violent, they can be threatened, they can arrest. But the nation has gotten to that point of no return. It does not matter what Mkabe does, it does not matter what Zanupif does, it does not matter what ZRP does. What is clear is this is the end. And as I have said many times before, Kuchava ne kugeda geda kwemin ne kundengendeka kwenyika within Zanupir and outside Zanupir, but mostly within Zanupir. Vacha Rovan, Vago Dambura Nasisha Vagit, Vago Funki Ziran, Vago Nemirana, Ibais Kopore Mahara. It's not going to end. The truth of the matter is the citizens are fed up and they want a new beginning. They can call it foreign sponsored, diaspora sponsored, or being pushed on by diasporans using WhatsApp with whatever the president wants to allude to. The truth of the matter is the country is on the precipice and if they don't manage it well, it can degenerate into an orgy of violence, pitting state security machinery versus the citizens that they are supposed to protect. If you are in ZANU PF and you are failing to see these signs, I am sorry to say, then you are an idiot. Because this is not going to end. It's not going to end. Kushikira, vamu gabe vafa, kana kuti zano ya vamu masimba. It will take an unbelievable transformation for zano pif to survive this. I cannot imagine what magic they can come up with. They have tried land allocations. It's an expired kind of patronage. They will have to come up with something new. But the problem they have is the corruption cannot be finished because a lot of them survive on it. Without it, they'd be poverty stricken. You have psychophants that are coming back into the NPF like uh, 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 MP Goche. It's got nothing to do with an ideological conviction that the NPF can deliver Zimbabwe to a better place. No. It's about self interest self-preservation based on the patronage that they have enjoyed over the years and they can't survive outside it. When ZANU-PF says it's cold outside ZANU-PF, basically what they are saying is it's cold outside the patronage system that they have perfected. That's what they mean. It's, nothing, it's not about the weather, it's not about the other political parties not being good enough, it's about the fact that ZANU-PF is perfected corruption to a T. And once you're in this syndicate of the mafioso, the corruption within the state machinery that ZANU-PF has engineered and ensured it has entrenched itself in the entire fabric of governance from the most tiniest responsibility to the major one, the president. Ask yourself, Bona lived in Hong Kong. Government is broke. The president was not earning anything above fifty thousand US dollars per year. How could he afford that? State sponsored. Right now, the president's son lives in Dubai. He doesn't live in a hotel. He doesn't live in a hostel. The mom visits him because where does it? They bought a villa in Dubai. He lives in a villa in Dubai.
unless someone says it's not true to me then they must tell me where Robert Mugabe Jr. lives they must tell me where in Singapore Bona used to live and where, did, where was she living when she delivered a child they have a house in Singapore that cannot be obtained on the basis of a presidential salary in Zimbabwe, which is less than 50,000 US dollars per year. So, this business of saying President Mugabe is not corrupt, a lot of word is coming out that people like Chombo, people like Obed Mpofu, even now people like uh, Say Wickner are alleged to be his friends. And now when you start looking at things a bit more critically, you start seeing that there's a lot of people that have gotten away with blatant corruption. But those people are so close to the president. In many, many events, you find that they are the key players. So what you will understand is that the president himself is, uh, cannot be uh, excluded from the corruption that is in Danupia because he is the godfather of the mafia. So what is happening now, Zimbabweans, is not going to end. Especially for you people in the Republic, understand that it's not going to end until it ends. It, there's nothing. You can make counter demonstrations, bring in million men marches. This is set game. It's the end of the Mugabe era. This is the end of the Mugabe era. You just have to come to terms with it. I know my friends in Zanu PF are going through a transition curve. But look, my friends, the truth of the matter is Mitambo Yuachukarop. Until Mugabe Abva Pachigaru. Kanagute Afa. That is the truth. It's hard, it's painful. I know it's very difficult to deal with unpleasantness. But I want you to understand Zanu PF Kadas. The Mugabe era has come to an end. And it will take a lot of you as victims with your misplaced loyalty. The truth of the matter, Zanu PF itself as a political party is doomed. And they know that Congo trades their history. I'm not talking about Zanubi becoming an opposition party. I'm talking about Zanubi completely dying out. That's what we, these are the real prospects that Zanubi is facing. Uh, the, the abuse of the security sector by Zanubi uh, in the guise of uh, Takai Ruira has just been debunked by the arrest of the war veterans for expressing themselves. That's it. They, they, there's no longer revolutionary anything about Zanubi. You know, the, it's, it's, it's just now an empty bust. Every time we were awful incoherent about Zanubi being a revolutionary party, I think most people are just going to burst out laughing like I am doing this right now. I see the real funny side of Zanubi. I see you guys in Zanubi that are stuck in Zanubi, not because you believe in what is happening, but because you are suffering from the Stockholm Syndrome where you are hoping that you can placate the monarch Ramagami by singing his praises, by being psycho fans. You are suffering that type of uh, Stockholm Syndrome and you can't help yourself. You know the truth, but you can't bear to deal with it. You can't bear to face it. You can't bear the demise of Zanipiev. Yet it's so easy. I was born and bred in Zanapia. But I still say it, enough is enough. Atichada, Atichachka, Dininda Dar, Asut Kongab.